And we're back with more Loving Living Local. Here's a fun fact. The Colorado Lottery is the only lottery in the world where nearly all the proceeds go to support the outdoors. And October is Conservation Month for the lottery, and we're celebrating the positive impact your contributions have made on our state. Joining us via FaceTime is Colorado Lottery Communications Manager Megan to share more details. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Thanks for having me. No, absolutely. Thanks for being here. So first, I want to ask about the Colorado Lottery Conservation Month. Yeah, people don't realize it. After 40 years of being at the lottery, and with I've not been there 40 years, but after 40 <laughs> years, people don't realize that um, there are lottery dollars in every single state park you've ever been to, and in um, almost every town in the whole state, all 64 counties, because. Um, we, our various partners, put money back into municipalities um, every month, and um, we're up to upwards of 200 million just last year that we've given to our partners. Woo -woo! Can you tell yeah. and share some of those conservation projects that the lottery has funded in Colorado? Any specific details? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in terms of conservation, conservation, one big one is Greenland Ranch, and it's right, everyone can, can know Greenland. So 17,000 acres were was protected. Um, those views along that drive, you know, the sprawl won't continue in those places. So that's pretty cool. And another big one we always like to talk about, it was our 41st state park peak. And that was green, that was Crazy French Ranch. And that was protected 19,000 acres down by Trinidad. I mean, think about it. This is crazy cool butte that's there yeah. and now it's open to the public forever so that's another great project i love but in reality our state's the one that's winning as a whole every single time we say that all the time yeah <laughs> the, the funds um great outdoors colorado goco people hear about it because they distribute the majority of our funds they get 50 percent of our proceeds dollars and then conservation trust fund they distribute funds based on population so every tiny town in colorado all 64 counties they receive funding from the Colorado Lottery, and a lot of them will just save up that funding for a new park or something else. So um, that's pretty cool. And then CPW, Colorado Parks and Wildlife, they get 10%, but they're also funded by GOCO. Um, and then one of their recreation funds, one of their wildlife funds gets some funding from ours. And lastly, the Outdoor Equity Grant Program, they give funds to organizations that help advance and grow access to the outdoors, which is so important. It's a big initiative of the governors, more access uh, for more people across the state and everyone should deserve to explore our wonderful outdoors. And Megan, can you touch again on how these proceeds are distributed? They, uh, we, about 25 cents of every dollar uh, goes back to our proceeds partner and 50% goes to GOCO, 40% goes to Conservation Trust Fund 10% goes to CPW, Colorado Parks and Wildlife. Um, and then Building Excellent Schools Today also gets some funds once the cap that GOCO has um, is met. But, um, and then this Outdoor Equity Grant Program. And all together, uh, like, like GOCO alone has given back 1.4 billion, 5,700 projects. So that just gives you an idea of one of the four organizations and all the money they give back to projects in the state. And then I know that October might be kind of coming to an end here, but how are you inviting people to come in and celebrate and join in in Conservation Month? Absolutely. We are, we do lots of events during this month and we had over a hundred people come to the Arkansas River, run into the res where we cleaned up along the riverbed because it's not just about conservation and trails and recreation. It's about stewardship, you know, making sure that our trails stay in good shape and things are clean. So we, we cleaned up there. We work with Volunteers for Outdoor Colorado. They just did ADA accessibility on trails in Ridgeway State Park. So we do a lot of those types of events during the month and invite people out. Well, Megan, thank you so much for being here, sharing a little bit more about the, what the Colorado Lottery has to offer, especially for our state and all those great things you guys are doing with the funds that you're allotted from the different people who donate to the lottery and play the lottery. <laughs> That's right. If you don't play the lottery, you still win because everybody wins. Awesome. It's well, Megan, awesome. thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. For more information and to learn about where your lottery dollars go, you can visit coloradolottery.com. I would also like to thank our friends with the Colorado Lottery for bringing us this segment.